On May 9, 2022, Officer Stallings of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission received a call from dispatch regarding an individual spearfishing near the East Jetty in Destin, Florida. Upon arrival, Officer Stallings observed the men with binoculars climb out of the water, spear in hand, and what appeared to be a fish in a bucket. When the subject spotted his patrol truck, he began to walk in the opposite direction and ducked behind a large group of rocks. fish today? I don't have a band. I have a spear fish is the finest. Let's, let's go over here real quick. We'll just go to the back of my truck and we'll look it up. Okay. Look it up in the statute book and go by the law. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, I did it with the judge and the attorney as well. I got you, and you should know the law pretty well. I, I'd obviously expect you to know it, consider you're an attorney. You don't want to go to court over something that simple. Well, I mean, they take your gear and they, you know, they find you and it's not ideal, obviously, so. Up here, right down in the Keys, you get charged and go to jail. What is it, just a misdemeanor? It's a misdemeanor. Yeah. Second degree. It's not like the crime yeah, of the so. century. All right, so let's wanna, talk about if it. If you want to pull up the, the regs, but it's a what, what kind of gear do you have? It's, it's called a headhunter, so I mean, there's obviously no band in there. But spearfishing is defined as a hand and mechanically propelled device. Okay. Propelled, hand propelled, <laughs> hand propelled as a spear gun. I know. Set your stuff up here and we'll look at what you got in your pocket. So you just got a three piece, like gig pole basically? Uh, it's just like this. Might not work. So then I have, um. So this. Is this just a wrist? What's this? That stretchy. Keeps, that keeps tension on the, on the tip. So it goes in like this. I just want to see how you use it specifically. Well, it, it's meant to be used with a band, obviously, so you can propel it into a fish. And so, it's just a slip tip, so you spear a fish. And it sticks into it. comes off, and then you just hold on to it that way. Um, so this this is just to hold tension on the tip so it doesn't fall off? It doesn't fall off, yeah. Okay, that's but not to propel anything. No, I mean, the band is to propel it, but I mean, if, if you're fishing, obviously, not if you're swimming in the water, you snap the fish if you're just moving it with your hand like that. It's not going to be strong enough, fast enough to actually go into a fish. And you have to pierce the fish at least three inches this far in order so for how this do to you, stick. So how do you fish with it? You have a band. Okay, so what do you use it for when you don't have the band? To poke sharks. Oh, that's the only thing you're doing? Well, I'm not poking sharks today, but if I see one, then I'm going to No, what poke I'm saying it. is what are you swimming with it for? What's yeah, the purpose? Yeah, that's exactly it, yeah. I you're mean, just snorkeling, sharks. basically? Diving. Did you go over against the rocks today? Yeah. I mean, Jeez. I, was, I was being, being stupid. I I hate getting my wetsuit dirty if I'm not going to be in for very long, just because it's, it's a pain to clean up. So I just... Right, what else do you have in my pocket? I just got in without it. And, um, so you got this in here. Yeah, that's... Glove in here. Injecting rod. Boots. What do you have that's bloody in here? Regulated blood? That is blood. It's probably or, for me. Yeah. You didn't bleed that much. I was bleeding pretty good, yeah. Where? Out of that and then my knee as well. Okay, Wait, come on. Where's the fish at? I don't have a fish. Dude, I there's fish slime in here. I can smell it and see it. Dude, I don't have a fish. I don't have a way to get a fish. What? Then where did all the fish slime come from? 
it might be from an old dive. I mean, I go spear fish fishing. Fish line does not stay in there that long. Okay, I got an eyewitness that says you had a grouper. Where is it? I don't have a fish. I don't have a. Why way are you to shaking? Fit. I'm nervous and I'm cold. Okay. Where's the fish? I don't have a fish. Dude, come on, man. Do you think I'm gonna believe that? Look. If I get my snorkel equipment on it and I go out there and find a fish, you're going to jail. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand that. Because now you're interfering in FWC officer investigation. You should know that. <laughs> I understand that. I'm not an administrative law attorney. Okay, so now you told me you're not. You're an attorney or you're not an attorney. What is it? Uh, there's different types of attorneys. I don't know. What are you? Administrative law. So you're not criminal? No. What are you? I don't practice. I have a law degree. I'm not a practicing okay, attorney. Okay, so you never passed a bar exam or anything like that? So in a second degree misdemeanor probably wouldn't hurt you then. I don't understand what that has to do with it. Where's the fish at? I don't have a fish. You're going to tell me that that is from you. How it, long it, do you think I've been doing this job for? It could be from me. It could be from an old All dive. of that blood right there and the fish slime in here? It could be from an old dive. I take this equipment when I do actually okay, go look, spear fishing with a spear gun. You and I both know. So you actually do go spear fishing then? Yes, I use a spear gun. Okay. How long does fish slime stay fresh in a bucket and smell like it and sticky and stuff like that? Fish smells like that for a long time. Not with my experience. Fish doesn't go away. I've grown up my entire life. Fish slime dries up. Okay? Okay. There's scales. The There's also scales in here, too. Yeah, I fresh like scales. Look at that. What is a fresh scale? Okay, that's fine. I'll just take the blood and have it DNA tested. I'm going to go ahead and take that from you. Let's walk back out here through the rocks. Come on. Leave your stuff up here. Yeah, you're going to leave that there. Take your weight belt off. Sit all that right there in the back of my truck. We're going to walk right back out of here. I'm going to give you the opportunity to retrieve this fish, because if I get in the water, you're going to jail. Hey, guys, how are you all doing? I'm good. How are you? How long have you all been here for? Like five minutes. Yeah. Did y'all see, see that guy bring a grouper up earlier? Okay. No problem. I appreciate it, guys. All right, man. The witness states you had a large grouper that you stowed it away inside a cave somewhere around here. Yeah. They said that you came up bragging about it to everybody. But you killed a grouper. And he said that he told you that you were spear fishing. But you weren't spear fishing because you didn't have a tip on. So it's gonna be a while here, unless you just go ahead and get the fish. Can I get a shirt? Where's the fish? I'm not spear fishing. Dude, I, don't I got multiple witnesses saying you had a grouper. Now, do you want to get the fish or not? <laughs> Is it underneath the rocks down here? I don't know. It's pretty easy when you got a weight belt and you can dive down. Why are you gonna get in the shirt if you're gonna get the water and get the fish? Where's the fish at? You didn't care when you were in the water. All right. Well, where's your shirt at? Where's your car located? Okay. So, um, do you want to continue playing this game, or are you gonna get the fish? Really? Is that right? Well, okay, we can explain that one in court. Come on, let's go. He says I didn't have a tip. How would I tip? You did have a tip. I see the tip. No, you said that you, you told the guy. You didn't have a tip, so it wasn't illegal. The same thing you just told me earlier. with a fish at any point? I did. Did you see where he put it? It was in a bucket. Did you see where he took the bucket and got rid of the fish? No. I mean, I saw him go on the rocks, but that's all I okay. saw. Okay. Thank you. Do you mind if I need you to get a, a witness statement? It's just clarifying that another individual told me that, and now you're telling me the same thing. Yeah. yeah Thank fine. you. I'll be yeah. back, okay? Okay. Turn around, put your hands on your back. You're being detained until I can figure out what else is going on, okay? Yes, we do, because I don't trust you right now. Sit right there and hang out. 
We're gonna get all your information in just a minute, all right? So you don't practice law. Why did you tell me you were an attorney? Is there a reason for that? Not a law degree. Okay, but you're not an attorney. Not that I understand the regulations and but you're not understanding because you're spearfishing a jetty. You know I've been watching you for a while with my binoculars, right? Spearfishing is how do you just told you this? Alright, look, I'm not gonna discuss it with you, okay? There's a definition for it. You can go back to the court and they can define it, okay? Because that's up to the courts to define it, alright? Just so you know. Spearfishing under 379 decimal 2425. Spearfishing definitions, limitations, and penalty. For the purpose of this X section, spearfishing means the taking of any saltwater fish through the instrumentality of a spear, gig, or lance operated by, operated by a person swimming at or below the surface of the water. Okay? So whatever definition they gave you is wrong. I'm just deciding, I'm just trying to figure out what, what your thinking is, okay? And why you're thinking this is okay. Okay? Um, because, I mean, you're not the first person doing this, all right? Don't be the last person doing it. No, I'm not, I'm not concerned about you guys at this moment. But if you do have it, that's good. You're good, man. Thanks. Let me know if you see a fish floating around out there. Are you going to the very end? If you don't mind, just look around for me. Did you see him carry it anywhere? No, he went on the, he took it on the rocks. Right? Oh, it was out here? Yeah. It's the last place you saw it on this? Yeah, he was right where my son's coming down that right there. Uh-huh. Right at the edge of the water. He was right at the edge of the water with it in a bucket. On this side? No, I don't saw him, yeah. Okay. And did you see what he did with the fish? I was in this bucket. Okay. He went all the way to the Good. All right. Do you... Can we review your GoPro? Sorry? Can we review your GoPro? I'll consent to do any searches. So you don't want to prove your point that you didn't spear a grouper? I don't think so. Do you want me, do you want to show me your, it's still recording. Okay. You don't want to recording. Sorry. Okay, you don't want to, you don't want to show it to me? I'll consent to do any searches. Has it been recording all day? No. How long has it been recording for? Okay, that's fine. I'm issuing you two citations. Okay, I have a fishing license. And you didn't have a diver's down flag. <laughs> he said if there's one on the point where I saw you in the water, I did not see a diver's down flag. Okay? Nope, I still haven't seen it. When you're in the water, you gotta have it. You're also swimming down this side of the jetty, and you didn't have one here either. Okay, it's a ticket, okay? You've already been issued a warning for it. You gotta bring your own diver's down flag. Display it. You swim around it, okay? I need your signature on my copies. It's not an admission of guilt. It's just stating you understand these three options which I'm about to provide to you, okay? You can pay these fines at this address listed here, in person or by mail. Or you can call this number and set up a court date, okay? That's your option. Or call that number and see if they'll allow you to pay online. I think they have an ePay in Okaloosa County, all right? I need your signature here and then on the fishing license citation. This one is for the diver's down flag. This one is for not having your fishing license, okay? 6750, you gotta have that, all right? If you're out here, all right? This one here. And the other one's right here. You are free to go, okay? I'm keeping the- copies of that. That is your copy, yes, those are copies. Exact same thing, okay? And it lists court appearance. Back, yeah, I'll get it to you, hold on just a second, okay? back here with me. You understand everything that's going on? The man was given citations for no dive flag and fishing without a license, but Officer Stallings is relentless, and after he let the man go, he continued to look for the grouper, which he ultimately found hidden under some rocks. But that's not all. Officer Stallings got a search warrant for the GoPro SD card that he sees during his investigation, and after reviewing that footage, he witnessed the man spear the exact same grouper that he found on the jetty. Just another example of why you shouldn't record criminal activities. Anyways guys, if you liked today's video, be sure to hit that like button, and if you're not already subscribed, be sure to do so. And watch my other content, please. For, for the love of God, some of it's pretty damn good.